Hey everyone, welcome back to the graph series. I am Sanket Singh and in this video, we are going to discuss about a very interesting application of depth first search uh, algorithm that we have already seen in the previous videos. If you have not yet watched that video, uh, I'll drop the link uh, in the cards. Uh, please do check it out. So this question is coming from Code Forces that we are going to discuss today. Uh, this question is tree cutting, easy version F1. It's a div three problem, div three F1. You can see, you can say it's like moderate, uh, moderately tough. It's an 1800 rated problem. Uh, so let's just start. So the problem says that you are given an undirected tree of N words. So this is a very important piece of information that it's a tree. If it's a tree, that means it is not having a cycle. Some vertices are colored blue, some are colored red, and some are uncolored. So you are going to have three different type of vertices. One is going to have a blue color, one, one kind of vertices can have a red color, and few of them are uncolored as well. It is guaranteed that the tree contains at least one red vertex and at least one blue vertex. So at least there will be a one red vertex and one blue vertex will be there. You can choose an edge and remove it from the tree. Now, now the main question comes. You can choose any edge, remove it from the tree. The tree will fall apart into two connected components. Obviously, we have seen that as soon as you remove an edge from the tree, it becomes a forest, like multiple connected components are there. Let's call an edge nice if neither of the resulting component contain what is of both red and blue color. Like if you get two connected components, in none of the component, both red and blue color should coexist. Right? This is the main part. You have to count how many nice edges are there. If you look at the constraint, the number of vertices are 10 to the power 5. So let's just see how we can solve it. I'll, I have taken some sample examples, examples from code, uh, code forces only. So let's just see. So let's say if uh, this is your given graph, if this is your given graph, now for this graph, the answer is going to be 1. Why? Because here you can see there is one blue node and one blue node here. So there are two blue nodes. There is one red node and rest of them are uncolored. For the uncolored nodes, I have said that they are black colored. Like arbitrary color I can assign. I have assigned them a black color. Now I need to cut out those edges which are going to be nice. And which is a nice edge. If I cut that edge, then I get two components. In, the, in one component, red and blue, both nodes should not coexist. So what can happen is, in one component, you can have either only red, only blue or red black or blue black right these combinations can be there you cannot have a red blue you cannot have a red blue okay cool so how the test case answer is one you can remove this edge you can remove this edge in that case you will get this as one component you will get this as one component let's say this is component a this is component b you can see in component A, there is only red color nodes. There is no red and blue, both. Both are not there. In the B component, there are only blue and black color nodes. Blue and red are not coexisting. And apart from this one edge, there is no more edge. So the answer is going to be one. Let's just take a look at one more example. So here, the answer is going to be four. Why it is going to be four? If you remove this edge, you will get this as one component and this as another component. B and this is A. Here you can see only red black and blue no red and blue similar if you cut this edge you get one component this one component this if you cut this edge you get one component this one component this and if you get this edge there are again two components so the total edges are one two three four so four is the answer so let's just see how we can solve the problem so the problem is kind of intuitive the problem is kind of intuitive and the main i would say property of the problem is the fact that you are given a tree if you are you have been given a tree there is no cycles no cycles make sense this is a very important part okay so this will be an overall structure of the given graph or like the, the given tree to you okay so let's say if in this test case you can cut this i would say edge you get a component like this and a component like this here only blue is there here uncolored and red are there then you can either cut this edge you will get this as one component and this as another component this is only red this is blue and uncolored there's red and uncolored both okay but no red and blue coexistence okay so how can we solve this so let's say if we say that this is the root node if we say that this is the root node for this root node i have this edge so every vertex is going to be associated with at least one edge because it's a given tree so we need to see that if it is a nice edge or not is it a nice edge how can we tell if it is a nice edge? 
we'll be able to tell if it is a nice edge or not based on how many blue color nodes and how many red color nodes are in the subtree that is associated with this edge right so if we will remove this edge if i will remove this edge i'll get this tree this is the subtree right so i need to get the distribution of the red and blue color nodes so this is a very crucial piece of information we need to get the distribution of red and blue nodes in a subtree right this is a very crucial piece of information and if in a subtree let's say i'll make a pair i'll make a pair of red and blue count right if in the pair if the count of red nodes and the count of blue nodes both are greater than 0 then the edge is not nice then the edge associated with that subtree is not nice why because if you will remove this edge you will get a subtree with both blue and red node coexisting for example if you will remove this subtree is remove this edge you will get this subtree here there are two blue nodes and two red nodes both are coexisting this is not a nice edge this is not a nice edge so for every edge you need to get the distribution of the red colored nodes and the blue colored nodes okay so how can we get that how can we get that so for every root node let's say for this root node if this is the associated edge what i can say that i can make a i can call my subtree and ask for the distribution of the blue nodes and the red nodes right and check if the blue nodes are greater than zero and red nodes are greater than zero this is not a nice edge otherwise if blue nodes is equal to zero and red is greater than zero it's a nice edge depending if the rest of the tree is also having a similar property so on and so forth so how can we get that so if i write a function if i write a function f of v this returns the distribution of blue and red nodes for the tree rooted at v so let's say this is the tree rooted at v i want to get the distribution of the tree rooted at v so we assume that this is the root how can we get that in order to get that in order to get that this subtree is going to call its own subtree so this is one subtree this is one subtree and this is one subtree it is going to call these subtrees and ask for the distribution in these subtrees can i say that ask for the distribution in these subtrees so for example this subtree will call to this subtree and here obviously the distribution is blue is 2 red is 0 here blue is 0 red is 0 here blue is 0 red is 2 these are the distributions of the subtree this is the, the, sub, the distribution for these subtrees if i have the distribution for my subtrees what will be my distribution like like what is the distribution of this whole tree the distribution of this whole tree is going to be the sum of the distribution of the subtrees like sum of the blue nodes that i'm going to get from my subtrees for red it will be some of the red nodes and if my own color is blue then i'll add the counter one to blue otherwise to red otherwise i'll leave it so it will be equal to i would say summation of f of u where u belongs to neighbor of v right it will be the answer from summation of u based on like whatever color you want if it is a it, if it is for red color you will be summing, summing up the red colors if it is for the blue color then you will be summing it up for the blue color and you will be also checking your own color so plus one or i would say plus v dot color double equal to the color so we can have one more property here let's say the color property and we'll see v dot color is double equal to c then we'll add one more to it so something like this kind of a relation we can have okay now this you can see is a rec recursive relation this is a recursive relation and because we have a recursive relation that means we can do a depth first search or a depth first traversal so what we can do we can go 
on my nodes and ask for the depth first search like for this node i'll ask this subtree that the tree rooted at this subtree please give me the distribution of blue and red nodes the tree rooted at this subtree please give me the sub, uh, distribution of blue and red nodes the tree rooted at this subtree please give me the distribution of blue and red nodes now when we'll come to this node again it will call all, all of its subtree that is only one give me the distribution of red and blue nodes when this this will come it is not having anything so distribution from everything comes as 0 comma 0 its own color is blue so it will add 1 to it and return 1 comma 0 here its own color is blue it will return 2 comma 0 from here so on and so forth now the best part about it is the best part about it is when you call a subtree when you call a subtree you get the information about that edge you get the information about that edge right and you get some information from this edge and you get some information from this edge now based on that if you will cut this edge if you will cut this edge if you will cut this edge then also you can take up some calls why because you know that in this subtree how many blue nodes and how many red nodes are but the question is you don't know how many blue and red nodes are in this subtree can i say that but you can easily calculate it how if you know that for this subtree how many blue and red nodes are and you know the total blue and total red nodes in the whole given tree then what you can do to get calculate the value of the number of blue nodes and red nodes in the rest of the tree you can just subtract total blue minus the given blue from the subtree and total red minus the given red from the subtree this will be the value of the blue nodes and the red nodes in the rest of the tree so let me explain you with one more example so let's say uh let's say this is a tree one second okay this is a tree this is let's say a blue node this is let's say a red node this is also a red node so the total number of red nodes total red nodes is two total blue nodes is one this will be given to us in the problem now we need to check whether this edge whether this edge is nice or not so let's say let's say this node is going to call all of its subtrees it will also call this subtree it will also call this subtree when it will call this subtree we'll be able to take a call on this edge how it will come to this node and it will ask for the distribution of the red and blue nodes in the tree rooted at this node this one right it will tell us that it is having zero blue nodes and two red nodes okay now we know how many blue and red nodes are in this subtree how can we calculate how many blue and red nodes are in this subtree if in the total tree there were two red nodes and we already found two red nodes in this subtree then the subtree left will be having tr minus 2 that is zero red nodes and here you can see there are zero red nodes and if in the total tree there was one blue node and we have not found any blue node here that means the blue nodes in this in this left subtree is tb minus 0 that is equal to 1 and voila you have solved the problem so let me explain it again what you can do from every root node you need to check that whether you can remove the edge or not in order to check whether you can remove the edge or not you need to check what is the distribution of the red and the blue nodes inside this subtree s1 and the subtree which is left here to get the distribution of the subtree s1 like you need to call that how many blue and red nodes are there in the tree rooted at this v this v also doesn't know the answer so it will again recursively call to all of its children its children will return the value of blue and red nodes blue and red nodes blue and red nodes in the tree rooted at them in the tree rooted at them in the tree rooted at them and then the total distribution of blue and red nodes will be the summation of the blue nodes in the child uh, subtrees and the red nodes in the subtrees plus whatever is the color of this root node with that will be also added now in order to take a call whether you can remove this edge or not you know how many blue and red nodes are there inside this tree rooted at v now you also need to know how many nodes are left in the rest of the tree let's say we have a tree here also we have some tree here also right we have some tree here also how can you calculate that if you know how many red and blue nodes are in this subtree and you know the total number of red and blue nodes in the given tree you can just subtract the values right for example let's say i know there were two blue nodes and zero nodes in this subtree can i calculate how many 
blue and red nodes are in this red highlighted square subtree i can say it will be eb minus 2 comma tr minus 0 that is 0 comma 3 so here you can see in this subtree the total number of blue nodes is 0 total number of red nodes is 2 see kind of simple and you are just doing a dfs you are just doing a dfs at every node you are going only once so from this you will go here once then here once here once here once all of the nodes are going to travel their subtree only once return the answer you know the answer for v you will return the answer to this root and this root will be able to take a call whether we want to clear this edge or not and while traversing our trees then only we will be taking the call for this edge also now this is a very crucial part you should not do something like that first take a call for this edge whether you can remove this edge or not to take a call for this edge you are getting the distribution of red and blue nodes in the subtree then when you have decided about this edge then you again go to the subtree and then move to the rest of the edge don't do that because in that case you will be going to one edge more than once what you should do while you are traveling this whole tree the first time you see an edge the first time you see an edge take a call that whether you can cut that edge or not whether that edge is nice or not then and there don't repeat yourself right that's why we can return a pair we can return a pair from every dfs call and we can uh, i would say optimize overlapping sub problems so you can say that we are applying kind of dp here as well right but i will uh, formally introduce dp on trees later in this series but you can see that there were like repeated sub problems and we have uh, overpowered them by storing the results in a pair and returning those pairs right so let's just try to code this problem in the next video we'll be coding this problem after coding this problem you'll be able to realize better that what exactly we want to convey as an idea of dfs because dfs is more about exploration you are able to explore your subtrees you are able to explore your subtrees that's where the gist and the intuition of dfs comes into the picture right so i hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video in the next session we are going to discuss about the coding implementation for this problem Apart from that, we are also going to see that what is the time complexity of the solution that we have proposed. So if you have liked this, uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification whenever we are putting a new video on the channel. So that being said, uh, take care guys. Bye-bye. Have a great week ahead and love you all.